Hi everyone, it's Jolly here. Um, today I'm bringing you uh, Pokemon Unite Abso Jungle Guide uh, for best build items, combos to use. Um, so let's dive right in. So for your Pokemon, uh, first I want to go over his move sets, right? Um, so the first two moves he starts with is Faint and Slash. I like to personally always start with Slash first. Um, at least for my junglers, anything um, with damage and close distance is totally fine. I don't need this until after my first clear. So once I defeat Lillipop, I should be level 3 so I can start dashing. So what I do is get Slash, um, kill the Lillipop, and then get my my dash after that. Uh, or in this case, my Faint, right? After I get my Faint, then I could use that on the Ludicolo or the, the Buffalo. Or the Buffalons, right? Um, yeah, so yeah, that's why I prefer Slash first, then Faint. Um, the order of leveling up. So I. Psycho Cut's a lot better than Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch can sometimes be tricky to use. Um, it increases your basic attack speed, right? But um, I think at this point, like, I definitely want crit and I want more damage. Um, the cooldowns are the same, but I definitely just want to fight and combo off right so that's why i prefer cycle cuts all right Incre this increases your basic attack damage dealt to your opponent um after the upgrade right once it gets upgraded um you also use get movement speed all right so you already have movement speed here installed too um so that's for cycle cuts for faints uh Either one is fine. There's times where I use Pursuit, or there's times that I use Night Slash. Um, if you're looking for more sustain to restore um, HP, then I definitely rec recommend Night Slash. But if you're looking for just increased moving speed, go for Pursuit. Uh, but as a jungler, I kind of already give him Float Stone, so I prefer Night Slash. I don't need more movement speed. I prefer uh, more sustain, so getting more HP, getting more of my crit, right? Because my items are more crit items. So I definitely want to build that instead. Uh, for my Unite move, I have Midnight Slash. Right, so you just end up unleashing a lot of Blades of Energy, dealing increased damage to your to the other Pokemon. Um, your passive on Abso is increase uh, increases a Pokemon's crit hit rate. Right, so the more attack damage, the higher your crit, um, the better your Abso is going to be. And then it's normal. Um, Basic attack, right? Every third attack is boosted, um, dealing damage to your opponents and decreasing their defense. So that's the uh, the nice part about it. It lowers their defense. So you definitely want to partner Absol's items with his attack damage, right? Because it does deal attack instead of special attack. Um, so now for the items. So you go to your item box. So like I said, if I want more uh, movement speed, I definitely go with Float Stone. Um, I currently have the max at 10, and this crit one at 12. I eventually want to get this, all of these to 20. I've hit, I was able to hit expert level um, by just increasing them to 10. Um, so that should be fine till then. Um, eventually, if you want to get to master, you definitely want to max these out to level 20s. But you see it um, increases my attack, increases my movement speed, this Float Stone. Then the muscle band, um, definitely attack, um, attack speed, and then scope lens. This is the one that's most important for your critical hit, critical hit damage, and your um, rate. Um, if you want some more sustain, you could always go focus band. It gives you more defense, a special defense. So um, Pokemon that are squishier, that definitely helps. But I don't find myself needing it. Um, you could also use the attack weight to increase your attack as well instead of using. Um, your muscle band either one of those any one of those three should be fine this uh, you can go for this like this is a basic item you can use on any pokemon that has a unite move right but special attack you don't need the special attack so you don't need white glasses or the show bell or the attack specs um as you can see i don't really use assault vest experience share leftovers or the cookies or even the shield 
but yeah, if you wanna, I just recommend increasing damage and movement speed. That's the way to go with Absol. Um, so this is fine. Like I said, muscle band or you could swap that out for your focus band if you want more sustain. But I find myself um, seeing that this works. Movement speed, attack damage, um, crit. That's just the way to build abs Absol right now. Um, as for his jungle clear, um, he does a traditional 5 to 7 camp clear. Um, so I'll show you what that is. So let's go to the practice area um, and the reason I say five to seven clear is because sometimes your teammates won't let you take the first two a bombs so um, you can't really do much about that so you're gonna have only five camps to use but if they let you take the a bombs you could definitely um, clear um, get the seven camp clear so Yeah, so also for your item, I always prefer the eject button. It's just like another flash. Like if you're familiar with League of Legends, eject button is essentially just flash. Helps you get out of tight spots. Um, like I said, if they don't let you, so say your opponent, um, your team doesn't let you get those A-Poms, you start with this Lily Pop. So you, I go for a slash. And then I go for faint. And I like having the combos, like being able to faint into slash is just really good. Or um, it just does a lot of damage. Faint helps you with moving to your camps. So after you get Ludicoto, you come here. Um, you want to get out of that, you want to definitely dodge that because then you get stunned. You could try to kite it. All right, so kiting means just move and attack, move and attack. So here you could do a couple of things. Um, if you got the two A-Poms, you could start looking for ganks because you should be level five. If you did not, then you could keep, uh, depending on how the lanes are, right? So say your bot lane is pushed. Um, so then you want to come gank bot. So you want to start Corfish top and then go um, bot side. Right? Uh, but if your top side is pushed, then you want to stop bot Corfish and then go top. You press L and your right analog stick to kind of determine the lane states, kind of like this. Um, but it's, once you hit level five, you should be able to gank easily. Um, you should have a level advantage. If you got the eight pumps, you should have like a two level advantage over them. Uh, but the important thing is make sure you're kiting, right? Move and kite. So attack and then move, attack and move back, attack, move back. And just, you won't constantly want to be moving, right? Um, so that's kind of like for jungle. The faster you kite, the better your jungling is going to be, right? Because you're going to be able to move a lot faster around the map and get to your teammates a lot better, a lot faster than your opponent's jungling, right? But yeah, um, you definitely want to have map awareness. Make sure you know what's happening in this lanes. So press L, right? Analog stick and just to move around. Um, another tip for Absol or for just um, jungling in general is if you have... Say you have Pokemon like Ninetales on top lane or someone with CC. You definitely want to prioritize that lane because if you're, you could CC your opponents, then you, you, it's an auto win, right? Um, you get some, I mean, not auto win, but it's an auto kill, right? Um, they're CC, so that means you could go in, do a lot more damage and then get out, right? And go back to form. So once you get those ganks, um, you don't want to stay too much time on those lanes. You want to definitely back start going over your clear again because your ludicolo has spawned your buffalo is spawned as well so you definitely want to go back clear that get more experience and just start like getting levels ahead so that when you fight your opponents you have that level of advantage um but yeah that's basically it for this absol guide um i would definitely have some gameplay guides later on um, just to show you how to play the combos and more in depth and stuff like that but you definitely want to go in with night slash or when you level that up and then slash and just have your combos. You just auto, 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 spam, spam, spam. Like, Absol's really good at the 1v1s. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.